It's time for a DigiKey unboxing. Let's take a look at the Digilent Analog Discovery Studio Max. Integrating 14 instruments and a breadboardable interface, it's an all-in-one solution for experimentation and prototyping. So, let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find the ADS Max, the Analog Discovery Canvas Max, a power supply, a USB cable, a screwdriver, screws, and a flywire cable. We also have the separately purchased US power cable and the probe bundle, which includes the probes, cables, and jumper wires you need to get up and running for most projects. In this demo, we're going to use Digilent's free Waveforms virtual instrument software to generate a Bode plot of a simple RC filter with a 3 dB cutoff around 12 kHz. First, insert the Canvas Max into the PCI slot at the back of the ADS Max. Plug the power and USB cables into the back, make sure the power switch is on, and press the board power button. This turns on the power rails for the breadboard, but we don't actually need them for this demo. Next, wire up your circuit, in this case our RC filter, and connect your probes. In waveforms, you can see the ADS Max has been detected, and you can see all of the virtual instrument options we have. We'll load this workspace that's set up to characterize our RC filter and hit run to start the measurement. It's using the Network Analyzer instrument and is set to sweep from 1 kHz to 1 MHz. We have the frequency response on the left with amplitude on top and phase on the bottom, and the oscilloscope view on the right with the input in orange and the output in blue for both views. As you can see, at 12 kHz, our output is just a bit more than 3 dB below our input and almost at minus 45 degrees. Thanks for watching.